I'm about to show you the best tweaks you should be making inside of Windows to increase your FPS massively, as well as lower your input delay in Counter-Strike 2. If a video helps out, please drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. On your desktop, you want to press the Windows key plus R, then inside here, paste in System Properties Performance.exe like so, then press OK. Underneath Visual Effects, you firstly want to click Adjust for Best Performance, and you'll notice that it unchecks all these boxes, but we don't want that. Instead, we want to take animations in the taskbar, save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show Windows content while dragging, and finally smooth edges of screen fonts. Don't forget to click apply and then OK. Step two, back on your desktop, you want to go ahead and right click on it, then click on the personalize button right here in the background section. Underneath where it says personalize your background, you want to have it on either picture or even better, a solid color. What you don't want to use is slideshow or window spotlight as these can cause slight lag spikes. Then scrolling down from the background section you want to click on taskbar. Then underneath the taskbar items I like to go ahead and hide my search bar as I prefer that but I also think it's important to uncheck task view widgets and chat if you aren't using any of these. Just underneath that too, we've got the system tray icons and I recommend turning off these if you don't use any of them. And thirdly, at the bottom we've got device usage. Inside of here, I recommend turning off all of these. Step three, you wanna go into your settings. Underneath install apps, inside here you wanna go through all the apps. So for example, if you've got Microsoft Teams and you do not use it, like Amazon don't, you wanna click on these three dots and simply uninstall it. And you can do the same for anything else. Mail and calendar is another one I actually don't use. Instead I use Chrome or Gmail. So I'm gonna uninstall that. And there's a ton more as well, like camera for example. I've got no use for that whatsoever. So that's gonna go. And if you try this for yourself, you'll notice there's a ton of applications that are installed on your PC that you don't actually use and you can get rid of, which will in turn benefit you. After that though, if you go into the advanced app settings, then share across devices, I like to go ahead and turn this one off. After doing that, I also like to go to the bottom one, that start up, and do pretty much the same thing as before, preferably for apps that have high impact. So take Microsoft Edge for example, I actually use Chrome, so I don't want that to be a startup application. So that gets turned off. And as you scroll down, you'll notice there's a few more apps that will literally be the same thing. And another one I don't use is the Microsoft OneDrive and that's high impact too. So I wanna go ahead and turn that off as I don't even use it to begin with. So why would I want it starting up with my PC? Step four, inside the settings again, this time under system. Firstly, under notifications, I like to scroll down all the way to the very bottom where you see additional settings, give that a click. And then I also like to uncheck both of these options. Uncheck, show the Windows welcome experience after updates and suggest ways to get the most out of Windows and finishing up setting this device. Also uncheck this third one as well if you haven't already, as apparently these three can give you tiny micro stutters when they do appear. And after doing that, if you go slightly under where it says power, inside here you can make a custom power mode to optimize your PC. Now, as you can see right here, I've got it on balanced, but if you click on it, there's two options. There's best power efficiency or there's best performance. And I think a lot of you will benefit from setting this onto best performance. Do give it a try though. And if not, just put it back onto balanced if you find that this is better for your PC. It's something you've got to try out. Step five, if you go back into the settings yet again, this time head into gaming under the game bar option. You want to turn off the game bar as this option right here will significantly lower your FPS. So turn that off. Below that you'll see graphics then click change default graphics settings and you'll see the first option here called hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now what this does is it reduces the load on your cpu during intensive tasks and it basically passes it over to your gpu but that can have a negative impact on your pc's performance so most people do turn it off for that reason however for some people out there that have the latest graphics cards they actually find it better so it's one of them give it a try but for most people they turn it off uh, for the variable refresh rate you want this on and then for optimizations for windowed games you want this off as you should be playing full screen and not windowed mode after that head into captures and turn off all of these settings right here you do not want to use any of this and thirdly in game mode for this setting i recommend you having it on as it's handy to have things turned off in the background while you are playing this time in accessibility underneath visual effects i like to select always show the scroll bars as i just think it's useful in general but to get a slight fps boost i like to also uncheck transparency 
transparency effects and you'll notice straight away it gets rid of those transparency effects and gives this sort of dark theme which not only looks cool but is quite functional you can also get rid of animation effects as well to get a slight fps boost by turning both of these off after doing that you can scroll down slightly under herein and select the captions button and inside here you can go ahead and turn off captions if you don't use them or need them step six you want to type in services like so and click the first one and inside here you basically want to go through and disable all the unnecessary services that you don't use so a one that I like to get rid of is wallet so if you press W it should come up with the wallet service and this is something that I don't use myself I don't have the wallet app or anything like that so I like to go ahead and right click on it then go into the properties then into the startup app and just go ahead and disable it then press apply and ok another one for example is the windows insider service I've got no sort of intentions of being in it or having it running so I like to right click on it go into properties and go ahead and disable this too don't forget to apply and press ok another Another thing I like to do is press the Windows key and R and then type in all three of these commands on screen to clean my temporary files. So for example, if I type in temp as the first one, I've got all of these temporary files. I can go ahead and press Control A then go ahead and delete them like so. I can do it again with percentage sign temp percentage sign. Same process of control A and then go ahead and delete them. And the final one is pre fetch like so. Step seven, you wanna go into the settings, go under privacy and security. Then firstly, in general, I like to go ahead and uncheck all of these for right here as what this does is it prevents Windows from actually tracking some of your data as well as suggesting pop-ups which can give you slight lag spikes. From there in the speech section, I like to go ahead and turn off this as I don't use it then in the inking and typing personalization I like to go ahead and turn off this one too as I don't use it diagnostics and feedback another one I like to go ahead and turn off or rather disable and finally under app permissions I like to go through all of these and just go ahead and disable all of them that I don't use step 8 I like to type in Windows update like so and actually check for updates and inside here you can go ahead and update your Windows to the latest version now this can benefit a lot of people out there but for some people it can cause issues so it's one of them where if you are struggling with performance it might be worth trying to update your windows but on the other hand if everything's okay and your frame rate's good just stay on your current windows version then scroll down slightly to delivery optimization i also like to go ahead and turn this option off right here and that right there has been the best tweaks you should be making inside of windows to increase your fps massively as well as lower your input delay in in Counter Strike 2. If it helped out, feel free to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. And before you go, feel free to check out any of my other videos that'll probably help you out a ton.